Hello everyone. My name is Pankaj Kumar and I am part of the Veritas Technical Marketing Engineering team focused on the after IT analytics. I am going to create a series of videos focusing on the ease of use aspect of after. So here is the first video of that series which showcases how easy it is when it comes to deployment and configuration of after 10.5 on VMware ESX using Open Virtualization Appliance or OVFI. Please note that this is one of the methods of deploying the app tier and the traditional deployment method is also available. First, let me share how to deploy app tier 10.5 on VMware ESX using open virtualization format or OVF. For OVF deployment, first you need to download the app tier OVA from this location. Once the file has been downloaded, deploy OVA on vCenter using deploy OVF template option. Select the OVF template from the location you have it. It could be either a remote URL or a local file system. In the next step, it asks for a unique virtual machine name and location of the virtual machine. Then provide the compute resource for this operation. After reviewing the details, select the storage for the configuration of disk files. At this step, you need to ensure that the host has access to the selected data store. Then select the network and network parameters for the virtual machine. The DNS domain name that you provide here will be used while accessing the after portal. This was the last step of the deployment process. Click on finish and sit relaxed. The deployment will be done in next few minutes. The next steps to this process are data collector deployment, configuration, and policy creation. Once portal is installed, access the portal as per the defined URL, after portal dot followed by the domain name that you have entered during the portal creation process. After logging into the portal with the valid username and password, go to data collection page under admin. Add collector by selecting the option and populating all the required fields. Once you click OK, a pop-up message will be shown which talks about the key file used while TC installation for encrypting the subsystems. Click OK to proceed further. After clicking OK, DC name that you have created followed by .key file gets downloaded and DC is added successfully with status as offline. Using the DC installer that can be downloaded from this location and the key downloaded, perform DC installation. Now start the DC services and check the status of the DC in portal is online. Then select DC and proceed with the add policy option. In this video, Veritas Net Backup policy has been selected. There are two data collection methods are supported here. First, when the DC is installed on the same machine where NetBackup master server is running. Second, when the DC and NetBackup master server are installed on different machines. In the second case, the communication happens through SSH or WMI protocol for Linux and Windows respectively. On collection status page, the status of probes running can be checked. Remember, I told you at the beginning of this video that the deployment process is very easy and you must have realized the same. Thanks for watching.